Good morning, my friends. Today is the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And uh, as I look at the readings uh, for today, a couple of things come to mind. I remember Father Barron, now Bishop Barron, telling us in seminary, he said, if everyone speaks well of you, you're not preaching the gospel. If everyone speaks well of you, you're not preaching the gospel. It hit me right in the heart because I'm a people pleaser. And I realized that I can't compromise the gospel. Um, I need to preach the truth in love. If people don't like me for that, people didn't like Jesus uh, for preaching the truth in love either. The second thing it reminds me of is my buddy Mike Sweeney saying, we're playing for an audience of one. So Jesus says in the gospel today, he says, I have come to set the earth on fire and how I wish it were already blazing. Is your heart blazing with the love of God? I think we have a world uh, that has a lot of people who are living lukewarm Christianity and Catholicism. If we look at this crucifix, which shows us the greatest act of love in the history of mankind, God showing us how much he loves us by dying on the cross for us, we can respond in three basic ways. We can allow his love to transform our hearts and set that heart ablaze. We can say no thanks and we go the other way, totally cold. Or we can be lukewarm and just kind of uh, play it safe because it's tough to be on fire today because of the cancel culture. We can say something about the truth of what Jesus preached and the cancel culture is going to come at us with full force. So one person gets, you know, a thousand people coming after them on social media. And it causes us to, to, to go quiet. And even if our hearts are fire, we're living publicly, we might live lukewarm because we're afraid that maybe what happened to Jesus is going to happen to us. And I'm preaching to myself here. So you can be hot, you can be cold, or you can be lukewarm. And we know what the scriptures say about someone being lukewarm. He says, I'll spew you out of my mouth. I wish you were hot or cold. And so this is convicting me to say that we as Catholics, as Christians, need to bond together uh, and not be afraid to speak the truth in love. Otherwise, we're going to see this, uh, you know, this rush of lukewarmness kind of take over, everybody being afraid to speak even though their hearts are saying, this isn't right, this isn't true, I can't live with this, we, we are afraid to uh, rock the waters. And so I think Jesus is challenging us today uh, because he says, I'm going to set father against son, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law. Some of you are going to accept this and your hearts are going to catch fire. Some of you are going to say, nope, I'm going to go the other way. And it can divide families, it can divide friends. I know Sometimes we're more afraid to lose friends than we are to lose our salvation, to lose our relationship with God. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. And so how am I living? Have I allowed the Lord to transform my heart, my life, so that my, my life is ablaze and it's like a fire that other people catch on to? So three practical su suggestions. Bishop Hicks you know, has uh, evangelization, catechesis, and faith in action. Evangelization is coming to know Jesus. So I encourage you to spend time in daily prayer, doing Lectio Divina on the scriptures, celebrating Mass and, and the Sacrament of Reconciliation on a regular basis. That's going to light your heart on fire. Love God with your mind through catechesis. Read five pages of a good, good book every day, Matthew Kelly says. And over time, it's going to multiply. So loving God with our, our heart, evangelization, loving God with our mind, catechesis, and then putting our faith into action. Living a moral life, a virtuous life, and then praying that the Holy Spirit guide us. Holy Spirit, send people to me that um, need to know your son Jesus, to know God, the Father's son Jesus, and give me the words to speak when I meet them. Help me to recognize them, as sent by you and give me the words to speak. Let us not be afraid. Uh, 
I feel like this is a critical time in our country's history, in our world history, that if we remain silent, uh, even if our hearts are fire, if we remain silent and we're afraid to speak up, um, we're going to get bowled over. And the Lord's asking us, he's, he's telling us, as Bishop uh, Barron told us, if everybody speaks well of you, you're not preaching the gospel. This is what happens when we preach the gospel. Do we trust him enough to follow him along this path, to carry our cross? But let's do it together. Let's help each other know that we're not alone, that I believe a majority of this cult culture and world feels the same way, but we're afraid to speak up. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus to set this world ablaze with your love. May our hearts and minds be on fire with your love. Transform us and help us to be your instruments in this world, to band together as brothers and sisters in Christ as, as a church and to preach the truth in love. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share this video with at least one person that needs it today. And to you and to your family, buen camino.